Hi, I'm Elaine Gordon. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist with a specialty in reproductive medicine. Well, the psychological consultation is important for a lot of reasons. It's a way for recipients and donors to make good decisions for themselves. It's educational, it's informative, it's to help you decide whether embryo donation is for you or not for you. It basically empowers you to take care of yourself and do what's right for you. In the consultation with the donors, some of the things we talk about are their feelings about being donors. What does it mean for them short term and long range? How do they feel about the recipients and why they may want to donate or not want to donate? I also talk about what their expectations are regarding the relationship with the recipients. Some donors want a relationship ongoing, long term, others don't. So we try to define that and put some boundaries around that in terms of what's right for them. One very important aspect of talking to donors is talking about what the children are going to experience. Recipients, these are people that have a history of struggling, and the donors did as well at one time usually, but the recipients, have, first I really tackle the whole idea about what their treatment history has been. What have they been through? What are they feeling now that they have to turn to embryo donation? One of the things that they absolutely have to address and think about is what is it going to be like to embrace a non-genetic child? How does that play out in their relationship with the child and in their relationship with the potential donor? I like to do the joint session between donors and recipients after I've met individually with the donors and after I've met individually with the recipients. So this way we can um, address common concerns, common differences. I encourage them to get together without me individually, go have a cup of coffee, have lunch together, dinner together, and get to know one another. I think there are different concerns and feelings for donors and recipients. You have to remember that donors already have children, and these children are going to be genetically related to any children that are the result of their donation. So they really have to take very seriously who these recipients are and what these recipients are wanting in terms of a relationship. For recipients, it's, a, it's pretty much the same but the concerns are different. Embracing someone else's genetics is very, very important when you do donation. I think before anybody has had a child, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of concern. So there are a lot of things that need to be looked at so donors and recipients are comfortable with the genetics of the other. In terms of what happens after people have children, I think there's a calming effect because then they really know they're the, they're the parent. The child teaches them that they're the parent because the child doesn't respond to anybody else but them, despite the genetic or the non-genetic connection for recipients, because children will bond with whomever takes care of them, whoever loves them, whoever hugs them, whoever meets their needs. Well, the best practices for disclosure are openness, a child has a right to know about their genetic beginnings, how their family came to be. But before you tell a child, it's very important that the parents are comfortable with how they built their family. And that goes for donors and recipients. And if there is going to be an open relationship, then donors and recipients have to come with a common plan so there, everybody is pretty much on the same page or at least in the same chapter. Different clinics have different policies regarding the requirement of a psychological consultation. Many clinics might ask for a clearance letter. And I remind you that the clearance letter is not to evaluate anyone, but to let the clinic know that the recipients or the donors have given considerable thought and consideration to going forward with a donation. It's basically informed consent. We're letting the clinics know that these donors and recipients have thought about what they're about to do or not do, and they are making a decision that reflects what's right for them.
don't make a decision before you have all your data, all your information. What I feel the psychological consultation offers is an opportunity to get information so you can make a good decision for yourself.